Welcome back everybody. Hope you are all doing well today. We are going to revisit Serene Fate, which I did not realize until just the other day, because I've played this quite a few times in early access, as some of you might remember. But as of August the 25th, just a couple of weeks ago, and I missed it, it is out. It is in full release. It is no longer early access after all these. I think it's ooh, it's probably been two years it might be one but i think it's closer to two so i thought we'd give it another fresh look fresh little run probably won't make it all the way through but eh, you never know I, I, I might get hooked this time i'm sure the story and everything else has been fleshed out all the bugs probably not completely squashed no thing is perfect but hey that's kind of the funny thing all right let's see what kind of story we have now long ago The world was covered in darkness, where only vile monsters roamed the surface. And then, the Fate Stone fell from the sky. An instant of destruction and light, the world changed. As runestones rained down, many of the monsters were cleansed of evil. Creatures and people were imbued with magic. They became chimera and witches. The stone would continue to maintain balance and potentially enrich the world with new witches I don't think that was now that I look at it before it disappeared that wasn't the right word oh well too late now many lifetimes have since passed and something's wrong with the stone today is the quinquennial ceremony new witches will be chosen in chimera kingdom the balance of magic and darkness is maintained Oh yeah, Does, don't they get attacked during the ceremony? Unless darkness someday intervene. Oh, map looks much better. Much better. More detailed. Alright, uh, let's see. What do we got here? Human race, spend less gold at shops, I like it. Deal 10% bonus damage from all sources, I really like that. Higher base calm, increase rare drop chance. Then we got serene, let's, okay, so bird looking people. <clears throat> Passively regen mana, deal 40% increased magic damage, find chimera more often. Monsters sometimes drop chimera pearls. Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Bow. What's up? Whoop. Quit that. Bow. Never fail smelting ore. Take 10% less damage from all sources. Higher base HP. HP. Boost 3% increased crafting speed. Not bad, but if I remember from the original, you could just start the crafting and go do other stuff. Because you know, there, there's always lots to do. Um, I hate to be boring, but out of all these, I mean, that makes it tanky. Not bad. Not you. I mean, I like passive region for the mana. I don't know how much it is, if it's even worth it, but I'm not a huge, usually I was not a huge magic caster because, and if you weren't prepared, you know, there's always that immunity issue. But this is, you know, it's not as much damage, but it's from everything. So I can play however I want. I still do damage. So, let, whoop. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's go with... Oh, yeah. I like that one. Hair color. We got it. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, hairstyle. Uh, 
It's like I'm running even though I'm standing still. That looks great. Uh, I'll probably go with something. Hmm. That's not bad. A little tan, a little pasty. That works for me. All right. Oh, hello. Can I have that sword? Any of your full name, character's name. Let's see. Any of your file name, character name. Wait, file name? Uh -huh. I just call it all the same. Hawk. Enter your new name. What are we called? Hawk. Mm, best friend? Hey, Hawk. I thought I'd find you here. We've got to run. The witching ceremony will be starting any moment. The ceremony where the Fate Stone creates new witches. It only happens once every five years. Come on, and don't forget your dagger. Or was it that leafy staff? Let's see. Press D to interact. Now, was to move. Uh, I think I'm going to go... There's a sword, part over a staff. Yes. Let's see, hold middle mouse button to open the main menu, then four will unlock later. The hotkey for this option is O. All right, or probably zero. I'm gonna go with O though. Uh, try pressing space to attack. Inventory. Uh, that's like an escape. All right. Well, it said it unlock later. That's fine. Hitching a shooting star restores mana. Oh yeah, that's right. At night. What we got here? Noise major. Come on, Hawk. We promised to become witches together. Wouldn't it technically be a warlock? You'll break that promise if you're late. Uh, can I rebind the hotkey? Yay! Hope I get to keep all this stuff. We're hurt kind of bad, but it's all right. Get out of here, crows. Of the human? All right, don't know what, don't know what that's about, but our oh, that's right. Sorry, forgot the the thing. Oh yeah, th this is where they added in the tutorial, right? The shrine bearing a magic mark. Just out of curiosity, oh, can we? Uh, blade whirl, move, 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 combat, mode, control. Uh, let's see. Where's spacebar? Use hotbar? Mm. Friend, I made sure to turn always run on. Left alt, control, middle mouse. Okay, so I don't see. It's I want most of it. Can I? I can't use left mouse. Boo. All right. That that's that's gonna annoy me just a bit. Do you fancy that? Another one coming, gallivanting up Royal Road. You see those slimy monsters on the trail? It's strange to see them close to Midtown. Feels like trouble. Trouble you'd do best to stay out of. <laughs> Going up? Would you like to skip the ceremony? Uh, no, actually. The bird feeders will take care of those pesky finches. Okay, so bird feeder is a scarecrow? 
Okay, so I'm out of combat mode. All right. Oh my, I can see Prince Gatwin. Oh, I hope the ceremony hasn't started. For goodness sakes, put away that weapon, silly. All right, so out of combat mode. Gotcha. Still pick up stuff. So the answer to that will be no. Fine. Let's see, Coco is my idol. She may be one of the most powerful witches in history. Gotcha. The greeting is lovely. Can you feel the magic thick in the air? Okay, so she must be one of the teachers. Soon, soon. Once the fate stone begins to glow, the ceremony will begin. Until then, enjoy the celebration and chat. Hey, hey I became a witch at the last ceremony. Gosh, I suppose it has been five years already. Welcome. Wow. More witches? There's enough witches in the guild library as it is. Uh, that stone looks kind of rough. Not gonna lie. Nice. Let's see, lifting the island and castle that may to have lift would require immense magic power. Oh, ha. What is that? This is so exciting. Looks like the royal's over there. I see. This party is the bomb. All right. Horse looking person. Probably not going to go there. Can I talk to you? Okay. You just use Princess Starwin. Hello there. I'm Princess Starwin. Welcome to Chimera Castle. Perhaps I've already spoken to the upcoming witches. It's quite exciting. Prince? Yep. Howdy. I'm Prince Gowan. Now keep your distance from the king and queen. And move along. Look interesting. You become a witch. Just watch me and learn. Say, excuse my shiny, excuse me, shiny head. Some damn carrion stole my hat recently. Uh, let's see. All right. No one's going to talk about the hooded figure. Rawr? Or the pirate? Yeah, but you wish you had the skills like these. No, not really. I can't go up there. Can't talk to you. So do I talk to her again? Looks like everybody's approaching. All right. Talk to you again, maybe? Nope. Guess we're just waiting. Right, hello, everyone. Small and tall. The time draws nigh. Right. Welcome, people of Chimera Kingdom. We gather here every five years, past on the sill of the skies, to witness a ceremony of old. Ceremony that has been happening since times before the first brick of Chimera Castle were laid. From past ago, the Fate Stone come from the, came from the sky and has since imbued peoples with a magic to become witches. Darkness has been held at bay and balance maintained, but it's extraordinary, extraordinary magical forces. It looks kind of like it's not feeling so good. Can we fix it? Say, so now let us... Relish and potentially await our forthcoming witches. Now wait a minute. Right then, I don't want to hear any whining if you are not chosen. Have some respect. <laughs> yeah, Zoodle, the time is now. Or it was? The sailor. I think it moved. I can't see. It definitely did something. Shh, quiet. Oh. Okay, so it shows our spirit forms, outlines.
that Princess Starwin? A royal witch. Has that ever happened? Is that me? Go on, loves. Go to your apparition. Looks like me in the middle. Yup. That that's that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My best friend didn't make it? That, that's not her. Because I think that's her. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. Hail for the kingdom. Arr. Oh, we got a lumberjack to the fate stone. For the princess. Oh, man. Cheers. Okay, so I guess these are our teachers to the witches. Yes. yes, for the kingdom. Oh, there's two hooded figures. Well, one and a half now. See, to me, you idiots. Hello, little ones. Necromancer. Oh, can I pick one of those? I want to be one of those. Zixus. Why don't you crawl back to your dark keep while you still can? <laughs> nice to see you too. Yes, it is I, Zixus the Collector. Fear not, I mean no harm to you good people. I've come to propose. Why do we not learn and harness the Fate Stone's full potential? With all that power, you all could be witches. It would be unwise to exploit magic and specul speculatorily so if you use for necromancy. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the balance of light and dark. It only kind of picks so many. We know not the depths of destruction battling could cause. And I mean, that you're a necromancer. You're definitely not good with light. A magical imbalance could consume the world with a darkness once more. Spewed like a scholar, fear has clouded your mind. I'm not a huge fan of the U's in this. I guess V's will hopefully be... will not allow you to jeopardize the fate of Chimera Kingdom for power and greed. The stone is sacred, love. You just want it to power its power for yourself. Hmm. For myself? I want to see the lumberjack. Which one's the lumberjack? Fine. I'll do it by myself. Utatus, Utondus. Aha. Bull oh, skeletons. I mean, makes sense. Let's see. Think of all the doors yet to be opened. No! Yes. I can taste the mana. Hope it tastes good. Everybody, back away. Icarus, take them to the guild. Witches, gather around. You too, princess. Quicken. Uh, can we see what's going on with the... Ooh. With uh, the king and queen? That can't be good. What have you done? The fate stone is shattered. An unfortunate outcome. Indeed. Yeah, I bet. Let's see. The balance say sun enemies are weak against moon. No duh. Right. Home destroy. What does this mean? It means we are all the last witches. Brains, fine by me. That is correct. The complex balance of magic will have been ruined by the stone's destruction. There won't be any more witches, and monsters are likely already appearing from the darkness. So, the bad guys win? How perceptive. Well, perhaps not all is lost. I've spent much of my free time studying witchery and magic history in the castle. It is the serene way. I recall a few writings speaking of shards of fate, lost pieces of the fate stone. Get to the point, princess. The shards, if they do exi exist, may allow us to restore the fate stone somehow. So dark crystal style, let's shove it in the hole. 
There may be even a fate shard nearby in the autumn forest. That ancient forest has forever been abnormally rich with magic. Though I fear it's difficult to retrie retrieve with monsters and that necromancer, necromancer Zixis on the loose. But we must try. Who will help me? This is all a lot. I don't think I'll be of much use. Unless you need to explode something, that I can do. Couldn't Big Pro Prince and his knights fix the Fate Stone? Prince Gowan may aid us, though he doesn't have much of a mind for ancient relics or the complexities of magic. I need time to think, and I need to finish my invention. I don't care what you zeros do, I do not have time to be searching for lost shards or whatever, unless it involves rare ingredients. Obviously. Or if you find Zixis, I'd like to pick that brain. Count me in. Excelsior! Yes, yeah, Stanley. You possess a grand adventurous spirit. I'll give you this scry totem. Uh, let's see. If you find something out about the shards of fate, use my totem and I will know. And granting my ma and granting my mana be sufficient, I can reach your location. All right, listen up. Let's see, you become acquainted with Princess Starway. I wonder if this got did they add in relationships? What's all this scheming I hear? Do not get the slightest inkling that new witches like you yourselves can meddle in these dark matters. You bunch of battered broomsticks would be lucky to survive encountering a mere forest carrion. Ahem. Now, under the current circumstances, Coco has left me with the delightful task of teaching you introductory witchery. We'll start with you, Hawk. Chop, chop. Before we start, would you like to skip this dreadful nonsense? Nope. Too much could have changed. Right, let us begin. In the first hall to the right and above, try pressing E to collect the key item. Quick it. Okay. Easy enough. Let's see, key items are important and cannot be dropped or sold. Some key items can be used or activated. Gotcha. Good. This button E is how you interact with the world in many situations. Let's see if you encounter new objects, you must pick up, or you just picked up a key item, meaning it does not take up space in your inventory and cannot be lost. Moving on. Next, we'll use a key item. Press M, mid, or maybe that's middle mouse button. D-pad down to key and use your new key items. Quick. Oop, and key item. Okay. And which in Chimera inventory? Gotcha. Okay, we're going to file. Yeah, no, none of that. I've been playing for 21 minutes. Sure. Days pass, none. Equip. Gotcha. Okay. Is that it? Good. Your inventory. Open your inventory. The inventory is important, so it can be opened straight from the radio menu instead of using the key item every time. From your inventory, you can equip items. Equipped items is crucial to becoming a great witch. Now open your inventory again and left-click an item in your hotbar to inspect it. Then click the notebook in the upper right of the window to collect it. All right. Nope. All right. Uh, wait, what? Maybe he just wants me to do something like this. What do we got here? You see apple, dust, stone. Let's equip that. I'm not impressed. Left click on an item from your hotbar, then let's see. Left click on an item from your hotbar, then left click the notebook. Okay. Hello. Whoop. You you. Ah, okay. Gotcha. This this could be Oh, that's right. I forget. You need one of everything. 
And as you get it, it unlocks stuff. All right. Whoa. All right. Good. You collected an item. Collecting items is how you learn new crafting recipes. Oh, okay. When you collect an item for the first time, you may notice it is consumed, destroyed, gone. Now, let's gather some normal items. Gather all the items in the next hall. Eee. Okay. Good. Collecting items is simple, right? Once you have your own hut, collecting items is a good way to clean the place up a bit. <laughs> next up, we'll do some actual witchery. And the next hall is a deposit of soil. Deposits are too big to collect and must be excavated some other way. Mouse over the deposit, then left click and hold to mana link. Gotcha. Well done. You may become a decent witch after all. Using a mana link has many uses. In this case, your link harvested a non-gatherable resource. You may have noticed your mana is low. Your mana is displayed next to the purple icon in your HUD. Take this potion and try using it to restore your mana. Press space to use an item from your hotbar. You've been picking up all sorts of items for your hotbar. It's full. You'll have to move the potion from your inventory first. Use the middle mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, nope. All right. Never mind. Hold on. Okay, so it doesn't scroll around. Gotcha. Good. We're almost finished. Tap control to enter combat mode or click the sword icon. Once you're in combat mode, space gets the weapon. Now destroy the monsters. Gotcha. I'll do it like that. We got another juicy apple. Mm-hmm. That one is never coming back. Monsters will be more difficult and in greater numbers out there. Thank you, Obi-Wan. Careful. We're finished with the basics. There's still much to learn about witchery, spells, and chimera, but that is for another time. Right. Let's see. Mm, yes. I'll give you the old overgrown hut in the woods. Well, <laughs> I hope you like gardening. Hard to see. Save stone is just outside. Oh, just another face to lend my reflection to. Uh, you're talking? Yes, of course. I'm one of the few magic mirrors. The owner of this house. Where be she? Uh, Dawn and you let a necromancer destroy the fate stone? Some monsters maybe got her then. Tragic. Okay, moving on. There's really no one else. That means you're the new master. Welcome home. Let's see here. Well, there is good news and bad news. You know the question? What'll it be? Let's hear the, the bad news first. Bad news, eh? We might get along after all. Okay, the bad news is I'm stuck living with you. Good news is you're now a witch and darkness is brewing. Necromonsters are more powerful than ever. You'd probably run out of mana after one spell. The forest not far from here is filled with monsters, and I hope you cover me back up and wander off into it. Wow. Still here? And your name is Hawk Pleasant. Hmm, yes, a bit to my surprise, it appears you do have an inkling of magic in you. But what runic attunement are you? How are you feeling? Is it going to tell me? All right, now these I, I do remember, uh... Just for a new Sosa sake, I always go with Life is a Sapling because I like the nature. Uh, this That buff gives you 20% XP from all sources, you know, and plants will grow faster and you get a chance to uh, giant growth to form within the, the skill tree. Uh us see, electric, that was uh, plus 20% damage and an innate attack will make dry soil wet when you, let's see. See, an innate attack and will make dry soil wet when you pass by. So basically, you leak water. So you're a watering can. You can just water stuff by walking around. Uh, bright and radiant, that is. Your attunement is sun. Oh, that makes mining, wood cutting spells 40% more powerful. So you can, it'll get through more and do better if you cast the lumberjacking and mining stuff. And it gives you a uh, heat proof one innately. So a little bit of a heat resistance. Uh, dark, <clears throat> pardon me. 
Darkness and Mysterious is the Void, of course. Uh, this gives you additional 100% base mana link power. It gives uh, extra HP uh, MP refill drops from mo monsters, plus 10% runic resistance, and you will also have a partial resistance to Void Sickness. Oh, that's nice. But you can get farther faster with experience and you can get money quicker if stuff grows faster so and i'm a nature person almost any kind of medieval stuff i like to do when it comes to that druid kind of stuff so i always pick like a sap because it's fun oh oh dear last question what is your favorite color um Green? Indeed, we're doomed. I can feel the tides changing already. Right. Last but not least, save stones are scattered across the world. Do not forget to save your game. Oh, and for all our sakes, continue to ignore the skull in the other room. Or if you enjoy doom and gloom, by all means, talk to it and enable hard mode. Be warned, you will suffer, and then die, and your save will be gone. Cheerio. Don't disturb my peace if you require further assistance. For now, go find a map and notebook. They're around here somewhere. Don't forget to come back. I have tips. So many tips. I have all sorts of tips. And mirrors? Well, we get lonely too. Now shoot. All right. Ooh, I see. You feel a sudden attunement to nature. Uh, let's see, human fate. Yeah, okay, so it keeps the buff up there now. All right, well, that. Uh, uh oh. Dang it, I just ate that apple. We got here. Uh, stay out of my caverns. Whoop. Uh, sure. No, there we go. Not going to talk to that. Like the can't no 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 I think not. The still ups Oh we don't have to clean up here anymore. Alright. He out and found notebook. What's the notebook? For all your magic finds. Errands collect oh. Collection Alright. For the, the stuff I've inserted. Good, good, good. It's no combat mode in the house. Take it. This is the map. Map of the world. All right. So, castle there. Here's this. Ooh. Oh, so they've added a lot. Wow. All right. Looks like this will be our first. I don't. Midtown. I'm not really sure where we are. I guess we're Midtown. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure that out. Hello, Hawk. Ah, uh, yes. This hut brings back memories. It does look a bit overgrown, doesn't it? And I'm sure Kane is fantastic company as always. Wait, so this was your house? Expelling the moss giant in the room, the fate stone has been destroyed. There may be a shimmer of a chance it can be fixed. I just haven't the slightest clue of how. <laughs> Master Icarus informed me that Princess Starwin is intent to restore it. A royal witch is no more is no mere coinkadink. Perhaps only in dark times could this happen. You young witches must bundle your broomsticks and stick together. <laughs> now, what interests you the most as a new witch? Ah, okay. So now this is, let's see. Each one of these is going to give me an item. And if it's the same as it was, once I get the recipe, I can craft whatever I don't choose. Uh, let's see, gathering, magnifying glass, so you can find stuff around. Which, let's see, witchery was a mana stone that let me, well, 
had a chance of giving you mana whenever you cast a spell. It wasn't a guarantee. Watering can, you know, you leak water, kind of like the, the one thing. You just walk around and water stuff. I see. Chimera, see, that was a stone that gave you a chance of uh, Chimera spawning. Fishing was a uh, oh, a bug net that when you walked through stuff you could squash the uh, the bugs and it would become basically bait. Uh, mining was a magnet, so when you walked past mining nodes, there's a chance of it just you know give crumbles of its type. Uh, let's see, uh, what do we want to do? I'm almost thinking gardening just for the the watering, make it easier. Um, free loot with the, the gathering would be nice. Um, but free fishing bait, and mm, I think we're gonna go with fishing. As, well, if I start out trying to grow stuff. Yeah, let's do the gardening. That's usually the best thing to do in most of this. Start out with that or fishing. Let's see. Excellent. Take this magic trinket. I've equipped it for you in your hand slot. Next up. It is tradition that new witches be bonded with their first chimera familiar. Today I've brought three lovelies. Let's cast your first spell to capture one. All right, so we're going Pokemon on this, huh? All right, now we'll use five runes of power to conjure a spell. On the left is the spelly is the spell tray near where your HUD normally is. Click the spell tray. Then select runes to form a spell. Choose nature, storm, sun, moon, void. Uh, Alright. Nature. Wait, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nature. Sun. Oh, I did. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's see. We're going. Okay. Nature storm. Sun. Moon and void. Gotcha. All right. Nature. Okay, so you just wanted it in order. All right, that easy enough. Let's see, that is the rune combination for the capture spell. Now click the chimera you wish to capture. Uh, can I learn about any of these? You look tanky. We'll go with the him, he looks tanky. Yazoodle, you start capturing a chimera. Casting capture p spells cost more mana the further you are from the target. Got a Nanta, right? Sometimes chimera will escape the capture crystals. To maximize your chance, get as close as you can before capturing a chimera in the future. You can even mana link a captured chrysalis for extra odds. In the future, when conjuring the five runes, you'll have to be quick to cast them. It's tedious for a witch to keep conjuring open for a very long. That is a wonderful Nat. Nata is just one of many species of Chimera. Take care of your Chimera, they'll take care of you. Would you like to hear more about Chimera? Sure. Say so, Nata are very territorial when they aren't posied away in their underground stockpile. Chimera or magical runic creatures come in all manner and shapes and sizes. They can be equipped by witches like yourself and used to fight monsters. You can also put Chimera in a pen where, if cared for, may create useful ingredients. Okay, so we can use them for basically cow, sheep, but maybe more along the lines of alchemy. I'll let you discover the rest on your adventures. Find new species, be sure to bring them by the Witch's Guild. I recall there is a save stone just outside to the east of town. Be sure to go save now. Until next time, young witch. Toodles! I'll take that. I live in a tree house? Oh, oh god, that's right. Let's see, try using we must open your tour, then equip your quirk, chimera, and other gear later on. Gotcha. 
Uh, key items. That'd be this. There we go. Ah, here we go. Where are uh, we? Put you there. Picture of magic. Got gotcha. you. Okay, so I can have up to two necklace, pendant, hat, cloak, cape, slash pack, a source. So I can't do sword and shield. Oh, that's fine. File. Okay. Um. Got that, that. Timber and dry soil. All right, so we got everything updated. Oh, so, okay. This concludes the tutorial. Before you set out into the world, here's a quick rundown of super important tips. Uh, oh God, one of 12. A safe tone is just to the right. Save your game after this. Notebook, lots of, yeah. Find like trees and boulders by using a harvesting spell if you have one. As many more times efficient. Tip to drink, eat, and place items. They must be in your hotbar first. Yeah. There are many ways to regen mana. Trading flower petals. Really? Lighting monsters. But yeah, yeah. Pick flowers often yields petals. If left alone, flowers will also passively drop petals. Occasionally. Down trees will sometimes drop full fledged planks instead of logs. I didn't know that one. There's a sawmill for processing logs to the south of town until you can craft your own. Good to know. If you plant seeds, make sure the bird feeder is nearby to keep the finches off them. Gotcha. Talk to everyone and try to find friends to help you out in the world. Uh, yeah. When in doubt, interact, chat, mana link, attack, everything. Lastly, Kane, the magic mirror, has other useful information. Give him a chat. I oh, don't know. He's worse than Gary. Gary was at least funny. Oh, my goodness. That was a lot of loot. All right, I'll take it. The safe stone's not over here. Do I know you. Oh, I remember you now. You you teach me stuff. Hey, Hawk. I'm the blacksmith from town, but I like to keep head witch Coco or help Coco out with the new witches. I sent you a letter. Check the letter box and we'll get started with some introductory witchery. Uh, I think you're lucky to get this area instead of a normal apprentice hut. Look at all the smithing and gardening you could do. I left you that workbench and some other bents and bobs. Use alt plus click to move them where you like. Cool. All right. Alrighty then. I'll see you later in town. Oh, if you run out of mana, try eating some flower petals. All right, right now we're not doing... Where's that... Sa oh, there. Okay. You the safe stone? Yeah, there we go. Would you like to save? Uh, yep. All right. I haven't earned anything or 106 copper, no pearls, 951 experience. We caught one chimera. I guess that clicking doesn't count as a button. That's fair. All right. Inventory. Do we have a skill tree yet? Oh, I do. Okay. CP, decrease Camara's sleepiness, increase Camara's stat damage and XP gain. Increase my physical, increase your dodge chance and critical chance for your part. Oh, wait, for my party? And increases mana and mana restored from regen. I like that. Uh, increases HP restored from hearts and regen and my max HP. It should be restored from hearts and regen. All right, let's put one point there so I at least get some. And one there. I need one at least each. All right. Hold on. We're going to save real quick. Would you like to save? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess quick save will be just as good. Clicky, clicky. Clicky, clicky. That's right. Forgot clicky clicky doesn't work any good. All right, here's we're gonna do a quick run through real quick. 
Ah, that's right. We'll have to do stuff to get this out. But. Can I tear it? Let's see. Was it all control? No. Okay. What is that? We'll find out. All right. What I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to clean this up a bit. Let me pause this. There we go. That's the only way I can think of to pause right now. So, I'll clean this up a little bit. Not going to do anything fancy. We're going to push this door. I'm going to get a few, a little bit more played, see if we can see what's going on and where this is going to lead. But that's just the introduction. We're through the tutorial. We're probably going to start needing to get crafting and other stuff going on because she said blacksmithing. So I'm going to bet we need to get a thing to start processing wood and other stuff. I'll clean, clean the yard the best I can so you won't have to worry about watching me do that so we can get on with some interesting stuff. But this is Serene Fate. We're going to get it going. We're going to see if we can figure out what's going on with the Fate Stone. But that's not today. That's a tomorrow me kind of thing. But I hope you all have a good day, good afternoon, whichever the case might be. And until next time, I shall see you all on the flip side.